Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the default Batigons mobile game graphic settings comparison between the iQ7 device versus Realme GT Neo 3D. So right now, as you can see, if in this iQ7 device, so which I have been using more than one year, so which has got the Snapdragon 870 processor, as you can see in this device, and with the Snap Snapdragon 870, which is also present in the Realme GT Neo 3D, as you can see. But so recently, what's happening is that few of the smartphones they do release with the last year's uh, Snapdragon process but still they do get 90 FPS support. For example, iQ Neo 6 with the same Snapdragon 870 which got the 90 FPS update in the Batman's mobile game. But let's see friends what's going on between these two phones in terms of the default graphics settings. So last year one year old phone versus la recent released Realme smartphone. Let's open the Batman's mobile game and let me to show you the settings what's going on. So first let's discuss the settings on the iQ7 device. In the iQ7 device, let's go to the settings option and show you. And you can clearly see there is no 90 FPS update. But iQ Neo 6 has got 90 FPS update with the same Snapdragon 870 processor. And you can play Ultra HD and Ultra as well. So there is no 90 FPS in the iQ7 device, unfortunately, in this device. And in the Realme GT Neo 3D, let's go to the settings option and show you. Smooth and extreme settings, balanced and extreme. And HD and Extreme, HDR and Extreme, you can play, and Ultra HD also, you can play that. So overall, both phones they don't have any 90 FPS. Even though this Realme GT Neo 3T did release recently with the same Snapdragon 870 processor, but still there is no 90 FPS support in this smartphone in the Realme GT Neo 3T. So which other of just letting you guys know in case if you're planning to buy this device. So. I'm not sure whether in the next update also it will be there because this is a Badwins mobile game 2.1 version I'm trying to use. So I did install the PUBG 2.2 but in the PUBG 2.2 I did not see any kind of 90 FPS. So maybe same thing might happen even in this Badwins mobile game also. We may not be able to see that 90 FPS support unfortunately even in the next update. So these are the few details friends which you should know between these both phones in case if you're planning to buy that. But nowadays the Realme smartphones they're getting one thing which is the Aptic feedback support in this Badigons mobile game. Yes, this phone has got aptic feedback support. So that's one of the good thing that Realme's phones are like slightly implementing. Even in the game settings also got unlock as well. That's pretty good. That's something to know about. But iQ phones they do have the aptic feedback from long back, which is really strong and very powerful. That's what I do feel in the iQ7 device. Not only in the iQ7, in the iQ smartphones as well. Regarding the aptic feedback intensity and how much powerful it is regarding the haptic feedback. Thank you for watching and straight for more updates is a quick comparison between these both phones regarding the default graphic settings. Until then signing off, thank you for watching and bye.